Hello, and welcome to Cooking with Todd. This is Todd. For today's video, I have decided to do chicken stew. For this recipe, you are going to need two to three tablespoons of salted butter. You're going to need two large carrots, peeled. You're also going to need two ribs of celery. You're going to need three to four cloves of garlic, one to two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. You're going to need some rosemary and thyme. You're also going to need some oregano, basil, and parsley. That is coming in in the form of Italian herbs, which this is already pre-mixed. You're also going to need 711 milliliters of chicken broth. I'm using better than bouillon. That's the equivalent of three cups. You're going to need about half of an onion. This is a very large onion, so I will probably use a third of it. You're going to need, of course, your chicken. I have about one and a quarter breasts here. I have some leftover diced chicken here from a, another video I made. Um, I also have the leftover drippings from this chicken that I roasted. I'm going to use those too. You're also going to need some pure ground black pepper, some salt, and that is pretty much everything you're going to need. To get started, you're going to want to go ahead and get your vegetables cut up and your butter heating up in your pan. I'm going to go ahead and get my board cleaned off and bring you back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just get started and I'm going to put about two and a half tablespoons of butter in here. And I'm just gonna plop that in my skillet and I am going to turn that on about a low for now. And now I'm going to go ahead and just start cutting up my carrots and the coins. And to do that, I'm just going to do this. Okay, so I got my carrots done. And now I'm going to go ahead and get started on my celery. To do this, it's pretty much the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and just stack these up and I'm going to cut these up into about quarter inch pieces. Just like that. And that is done. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat up on my skillet to about a medium. And I am going to wait for that to finish melting. And then I am going to go ahead and switch the camera angle over so you can go ahead and see what I'm going to do on the stove. Okay, so my butter is pretty much melted. I'm going to go ahead and grab a rubber spatula. And I am going to go ahead and just put my celery and carrots in the skillet. And I am looking to saute these for about five minutes. And while these are sauteed here for five minutes, I'm going to go ahead and start peeling my potatoes. And I will go ahead and just bring you back once I'm ready for the next step. Okay, so I'm back and these have been sauteing here for about five minutes now. And I went ahead and got my potatoes peeled. And I am going to go ahead and start cutting up my potatoes. I'm going to move my board over so you can see my board too. And I'm going to cut these up into small cubes. And you're going to want them about this thick, about half an inch. And I'm 
I'm going to continue to stir this as I'm cutting up my potatoes. You got a strangler there. Um, and you are going to want to go ahead and cut these up into about quarter inch pieces, half inch. And then once all these are cut up, I'm going to go ahead and throw them in with the carrots and celery. I will just go ahead and bring you back when I am ready for the next step. Okay, so my potatoes are all cut up, and my carrots are starting to brown up a little bit, which is kind of what I'm looking for. So I am going to go ahead and throw my potatoes in, and I am going to fry these for about two minutes. I'm not really going for any color on these. I'm just trying to give them a little kickstart before it starts to go to the next part. And I'm just going to give these a quick stir. And I'm going to let those sit there and get a little color on that one side for like I said, a minute or two, and I will go ahead and bring you back. Okay, so it's been about three minutes, and I'm going to go ahead and grab my garlic. And I am going to go ahead and crush my garlic in. And I'm going to go ahead and give this another good mix. And if it looks like the potatoes have soaked up some of the butter, like they have now, I'm going to go ahead and just add a neutral oil, like avocado, about half a tablespoon to a tablespoon. And go ahead and just give this another good mix. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw my flour in and give this another good mix. I'm also going to get ready and put some of my fresh herbs in here. You just got to watch and make sure that the flour does not stick. And start to burn. I'm going to go ahead and grab my herb blend here, which is the parsley, basil, and oregano. I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple sprigs of celery, I mean thyme, and I'm going to just go ahead and start ripping the leaves off. Just like this. And I'm going to go ahead and give this another stir to make sure that the flour is not sticking. Yes, I had a potato that decided it did not want to be part of this 
chicken stew. I'm going to go ahead and add in a little extra oil. And I'm going to go ahead and put this thyme back in here, throw it off to the side, and grab my rosemary. And I'm going to grab a couple leaves here, bring this back over so you can see a little better. And I'm just going to mince this up. just like this. And I'm going to throw that in. And give it another good mix. I'm going to let that sit, sit there for about another minute or so. And I'm going to go ahead and get my chicken prepared here. And I'm going to go ahead and just cut this into about one inch cubes. Okay, so this has been going for about another five minutes now. And the potatoes got some nice color. The carrots have nice color. And the celery and carrots and everything pretty much should be about halfway done by now. The celery more so than the carrots. I'm going to go ahead and drop in my onions. And I'm going to give this a quick stir again. That potato is not getting away this time. I'm going to go ahead and add in a little more oil. About another tablespoon or so. I actually think I might add in a little extra flour right now too. Because I kind of like my stews to be a little on the thick side. And this is my first time making this today, so I guess this is going to be a learning experience for everybody. And if it doesn't really turn out, then I guess this video will not be going up on my channel. And if it turns out, then it will be on my channel. I also want to go ahead and thank a couple of my new subscribers that I just got. I'm now up to 35 subscribers as of the making of this video. And I believe around last Friday, I believe, I had 29 lost a subscriber. And then over the weekend, I ended up gaining... some subscribers, so that was kind of nice. I'm going to go ahead and just throw that straggling onion back in, and I am going to go ahead and get two cups of water. I'm not really going to measure anything today for my water. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and just add in my water. That's probably about a cup and a half. And I'm going to go ahead and just keep mixing this. I am also going to add in my leftover chicken from my chicken alfredo.
and I'm going to add in the rendered juices from the roasted chicken. And I'm going to give this a quick mix or stir, whatever, to get the gelatin off of my spoon. And I am going to go grab a mixing jar right quick so I can mix up some of my better than bouillon. Okay, so I got a mixing glass with about a cup of water in it. And I'm going to go ahead and just take a couple spoonfuls, about that much right there. Maybe a little more. That should be about enough right there. And I'm going to give this another quick mix right quick. So it looks like I was pretty spot on by adding that extra flour in there. This is going to simmer here for a little bit, so it is going to thicken up more. And I'm probably looking to evaporate about half a cup of this water that I put in there. I'm going to go ahead and pour that in. And throw this over to the sink. And give this another quick mix. And I'm going to go ahead and raise my heat to a medium high. And I'm going to go ahead and throw my chicken in. I probably should have thrown this in at the very end, but as this is a first time for this, I will see. And I am going to wait until this comes up to a simmer. And I'm going to go ahead and maintain it at that simmer for, I don't know, about 25 minutes. And I will go ahead and bring you back and show you what it looks like then. Okay, so this has been simmering now for about 20 minutes. And as you can see, it has gotten quite thick. And... That is one of the advantages of having a wide pot like this with tapered sides. It helps the moisture evaporate faster. I'm going to go ahead and grab a tasting spoon. And I am going to go ahead and just taste this for salt. Okay, so I'm going to add just a tad amount of salt, not too much. I'm going to say about half a teaspoon. I'm also going to go ahead and add my pepper in at this time. And I'm going to say about a teaspoon of pepper. And I'm going to give this a quick stir. And I don't really mind my chicken being kind of shredded like this. I think it just adds a little extra texture to the stew. So, I'm going to go ahead and just say that was a good call for me by adding that. Now, this was a recipe. I just did a quick Google search for uh, chicken stew. And I went by it, but did not go by it. Some of the things I did was not by that recipe. So, I kind of made it my own. I also added things and took things away that I really did not have or did not feel like going to get just to make this. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat off on this. And I'm going to let this rest here for about five minutes. And I might end up adding a little extra water as this is getting thick kind of fast. And I don't really like my stew to be this thick. So maybe I should not have added that extra flour. But hey, that's what experimentation's for. I am going to add probably about a quarter cup of water to this to thin it out a little. 
and I'm going to go ahead and just use that jar that I had and rinse that out. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up right now. So if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to smash that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And as always, thank you for watching, and I hope you continue to come back and enjoy watching me on this journey of mine.